tough choices. Baltimore City State's Attorney Marilyn Mosby talked about the decision to give a plea deal to the teen accused of murdering another teen at the Ravens Super Bowl parade. The teen charged with stabbing a 15 year old to death pleaded guilty to second degree murder. Yeah, his sentence? Time served plus five years of probation. 11 News reporter Kim Dacey caught up with the city state's attorney to talk about the outcome of the case. Kim. Well, Kate, with the lack of witnesses willing to come forward and a mistrial in this case where the jury was leaning toward an acquittal, Baltimore's state's attorney says this was the best way to hold the suspect accountable for this murder. The Ravens Super Bowl victory parade in 2013 took a deadly turn. Three people were stabbed. One of them, a 15 year old, was killed. Police arrested another 15 year old, Nazir Williams, and charged him for the crime. But no witnesses, including the other two people who were stabbed, came forward to help in the investigation. You have people from all walks of life, uh, beyond and cross designated, beyond uh, socioeconomic status, race. Dozens and thousands of people who are there, yet nobody comes forward. You know, I think that in and of itself is a tragedy. You know, we as a community, we have to step up. Baltimore State's attorney Marilyn Mosby says because they had no witnesses, they were at a disadvantage when prosecuting the case. Williams went on trial in January, but a mistrial was declared. The jury deadlocked 11 to 1 for a not guilty verdict. Rather than go on trial again, Williams pleaded guilty to second degree murder and was sentenced to time served plus five years of probation. Mosby felt that was the best outcome under the circumstances. Either he's going to walk or he'll be under the, the state supervision. And we've, we have an, analyzed the case and made a determination that it's probably best that this person, who we feel is responsible for the death of that 15 year old, is held under state supervision. Earlier this week, Baltimore police announced they are undergoing a federally funded review of the way they investigate murders with the goal of solving more cases. Mosby says she hopes the review will ultimately help them prosecute those cases successfully. It's not just, you know, the state's attorney's office and the, the Baltimore City Police Department, but it's about working collaboratively with the federal government, and it's a fresh set of eyes. If we can start to solve some of these homicides, to go after these violent repeat offenders, which are a small number of them that are controlling and dominating our streets, then collectively and collaboratively, that's what we should be doing. Williams was also given a 30 year suspended sentence, so if he violates his probation in any way, he'll be sent back to jail. Reporting live downtown, Kim Dacey, WBAL TV 11 News.